phenomenon, but phenomena converging. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things happening. So I, I make of that what you will, but I think that's where the cross sections of the paranormal, the UFO world, uh, or the otherworldly, um, you know, interdimensional cryptids. I think there's all the, and, and, and for some reason, uh, consciousness seems to be the key to all of it. Mm. I, I've been wondering lately whether, um, like when you look back at, uh, like history and folklore and st stuff like that. It's, I find it interesting that, like, for for, in, in, uh, for instance, the Chinese zodiac, I think, is made up of X amount of real animals apart from a dragon. So there's a, there's a dragon in there. So for some reason, they supposedly stuck one fictitious animal in there. Um, the uh, the idea has come to me, like, just like we have, like, natural, like, ebbs and flows in climate, uh, over the years whether there is something to do something to do with that has like you say either something to do with consciousness consciousness or however thick the veil is so whenever when we look at all like all this crazy fol folklore from times where you you would be forgiven for thinking that they lived in like tolkien-esque uh like a tolkien-esque world uh I wonder if that's actually how it was at some point. And all these things, this that whatever this phenomena was, was interacting much more and much heavier with people at that time. I mean, even even if you take uh, like medieval folklore out of it and just go back to what the like, Egyptians were saying about um, pyramids being built, and they uh, for some reason we you know we we have like half half beast, half man great creatures on uh uh hier hieroglyphs it's that could be a similar thing so where we just go through these phases and if that's the case i wonder if we're entering another one of these periods in history now where we start interacting with whatever this is outside of like our our idea of physical reality well i think that there is absolutely something to be said that Technology, the way we see it, is right. It's technology, right? But I think the technology our ancestors were using um, was of of a different volition. It was, it had more to do with consciousness, interaction mm. with, and 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 they had. There's just something that has me set that. I mean, we look around and yes, we've become more advanced in our civilization, but have we lost something along the way? Um, I think we have. And I think that is our connection to the, the, our, 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 the, the missing link, if you will, mm -hmm. like why we're here. How are we a species that doesn't know our own fucking origin? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Can mm -hmm. I curse? Yep. Yeah, of course you can. Okay. All right. Um, like, how is that possible? How, how could that be that we are so, so advanced, um, um, you know, so, um, meticulous, you know, uh, we, but we don't understand our true origin. At least we cannot all agree that there's a consensus reality. Mm. Right. You got your, 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 your religious, you know, people who think the the earth is like six thousand years old, and then you know you have the 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 Big Bang, the more scientific approach. Um, but then if you look at them, right, uh, uh, there's way more similarities than you than 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 there there are not, right? Mm -hmm. God let God said, let there be light. Well, that sounds like the Big Bang to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What What does it sound like to you? They're talking about the same goddamn thing. Right? I just think the timelines, I think, I think, I think man, man wrote the Bible, and that's why it's flawed. And and I think that we all as a civilization need to step back hmm. because all the stories that we tell, why are they all so familiar? 
What? Uh, well, we're doing the same thing again with um, oh, the simulation for theory because simu simulation theory is just creationism for atheists. That's a very good. It's <laughs> a very good uh, analogy. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. But it, 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 it just it's always got me wondering. Um, you know, it, what kind of connection did our ancestors have to uh, this intelligent, this intelligence? Because there is clearly from the micro to the macro intelligent design to our universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, the similarities in the micro and the macro, um, just the, the fact that we're able to have this conversation, that we're able to contemplate this shows me there's intelligent design to the universe. So, so to suggest that there are no, that we're the only thing, that we're the, the best of the best, that it's just utter BS to me, mm -hmm. right? So especially with all the flaws that we have, I mean, we're tearing our own planet down. It makes me like the depth of, of the mystery, right? It's so broad. It's so deep. It only, to me anyway, lends itself to, to for me to believe that there is this ecosystem of flora and fauna that exists alongside and with us that we're unable to perceive. And that someone along the line either used to be able to see it and interact with it for their betterment or for their detriment. And that maybe right. along the line, somebody's maintained that technology, but they just keep it to themselves and they're still doing it. Right. You can even look at the massive scientific discoveries that have been made in the past hundred years, how many of them came to these people in dreams or visions? And even though they got a Nobel Prize, they left that part of it out, right? And like, oh, were... here's, you found DNA, but we're not telling you how you found DNA. You found out that, that atoms split this way, but we're not talking about how you found out. There's something more. And it's being yeah. hidden from us, actively hidden from us. At, at the Like the great late Senator Daniel Inouye said, right? There's a shadow government. It operates on its own agenda above the law with its own army fundraising mechanisms. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if I, it, come on, it's, 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 it's so, I, you know, I, I would say a hundred years ago, if you surveyed a hundred people, 99 would say we are alone in the universe today. 99 would say we're not. Mm -hmm. Right. So the conversation, the, the proof, the burden of proof has shifted. Mitch Yukaku says this a lot. The burden of proof has shifted from the believer to the to the non-believer, to the skeptic. And tell me, because in a court of law, we have enough evidence yes. to, to suggest that there is phenomena, something, something happening. So beyond a reasonable doubt, I think we can all agree that something on earth is happening and it's 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 it something that we don't understand fully we can't perceive it we've either lost some sort some uh, lost an ability to perceive it or um it's it's there and it's dormant so i have a question for you sorry ollie go no 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 uh uh the I, I believe, like, I think you're right with what you say. And I think if, if you ask a lot of people now, they would say, yeah, we're not alone in the universe. I think 90% of that falls on the New York Times article to this day, congressional hearings, all that sort of stuff. So if that's the case, and I, I think you're right, why all of a sudden? Did because I, I I believe what you what you say about the shadow shadow government as well. The only the only thing I would add to that is I don't think it's a shadow government. I think it's like a shadow covenant that is something that is above everything else, like watches, keepers, whatever these things that these things or people or entity are. There is something above what we see as the surface level roof of power. Mm -hmm. um, That's why? a terrifying notion. But why then did those people suddenly want my mum and dad that didn't believe in UFOs yesterday, why do they want them to believe in UFOs today? Because that's what's happened. At some point, there's been a shift in what the people at the top want public perception to be. And 20 years ago, they didn't want people talking about UFOs. Now they want 
everybody talking about UFOs. It's a good. Uh, that's a good point. What what has what has changed? Well, I the the minute they the the minute government forces asked me to believe in in aliens, specifically aliens, was the day I stopped believing in aliens. I think there was enough of a like after the after World War II, there was been a consistent push to put science as the god in the focus. We don't question science, scientists to the new priesthood. We've seen that in the last undoings and unhappenings, right? Like these, mm -hmm. these last tragic things. I think someone along the line says, we've got enough depth. We have enough push. We have enough of them thinking. Now we need to bring in the new gods and we'll explain it in a way that they'll believe and they'll submit unconditionally. That because if they would have done it beforehand, people would have been rebuking that and running back to the church. No one's doing that today. Shit, Dave. The new gods. The new gods. That's a uh, just like well, the old ones that got kicked out. Right. No, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was watching Guardians of the Galaxy uh, with the kids, and um, I just thought, maybe, maybe, maybe in all this, like the movies and what have you, they tell they are telling us something because those in Guardians of the Galaxy it goes yeah. further back. Yeah, it's like, it's like the the the, the so-called no, aliens, but they no, are no, no, gods. Think, think about think about the movies, right? They're based on the comics. Mm. What just like just like Steven Spielberg and Close Encounters, right? Mm. How we think the government kind of went to, or, or you know, uh, we know that uh, Alan Hynek was a, a consultant for the film. That Spielberg had a lot of access to to Project Blue Book. Well, who? What was a, a huge form, if not the biggest form of entertainment for people um, in the the uh, 40, oh, I, I would say 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, into the 70s, is comic books, mm -hmm. right? So who's to say that they didn't call Stan Lee and give him some ideas? Why is Thor a, an Avenger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So to, to your point about Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, yes, I think what they're doing is they're solidifying the fact that the cosmos is teeming with life. Yeah. You, you know, what I thought was interesting since we're talking about movie references, which I think are always a good, good way to at least spur on interesting conversation. Uh, when you look at that uh, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and I just watched it recently. I finally kind of dawned on me, maybe in this weird way that maybe I hadn't noticed before, but I, you know, it was this guy's journey and all this. I don't really think it was so much about the journey as it was illustrating a point. Like if it's an acknowledgement, say it's the government acknowledging something, which is, you know, we're on a conspiracy show. We can, we can do outlandish things. <laughs> what would be the thing that they're acknowledging the most? Is it that there are some kind of being that they're aware of and they're trying to communicate with? Maybe, maybe. Or is it that there's some other intelligence that chooses who it wants to communicate with and the government monitors, interferes with those people, tries to intercept if it possible because they want the conversation that those things aren't interested in having with them. They want to have with the people they already picked. It would make sense if you follow the phenomenon of how many people see things and then have paranormal activity. Like they live unusual lives that maybe to them seem normal but if you compare it side by side with anyone with a vanilla cookie cutter life, they just start stacking experiences. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I agree. It's an interesting thing. It is. See, uh, good. No, 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 go. Well, now I forgot now. So <laughs> <laughs> in and out. See, I've been, uh, I've been slowly terrifying myself actually over the past few days about things. And, um, the, but this goes back to what Dave was saying about the idea of ushering in new gods, and then that got me thinking about the what what we've been through, like with pan, the pandemic, and the whole idea of like you know, what we kept hearing the the idea of this like the great reset, and it only dawned on me maybe yesterday or day day before when I was looking at certain stuff because I've been looking into like the orphan trains in the US, and um. It suddenly dawned on me when I was looking at that. Thought, oh, hang on a second. 
So right, if we look at this from the conspiracy uh, lens of the the. Great